slammed. No worries. So unfortunately, the you can, you can see right here, my goofy ass decided to not bring the charger <laughs> either. So we're gonna improvise over here and just finish up on the uh, the podcast basically. And we're gonna finish up with the three questions. Basically, I wanted to ask you, what are three goals that you have for yourself? Okay. Three goals. Um, okay, one would be, I would like to be, I made this my goal for a while. I would like to be in the best shape of my life by 30, but not, not like aesthetically, like inside. I want to like have full control over what's going on with my, like the inside of my body. I want to be working optimally in there by 30. So I have a few months. God, like wish me some luck. God bless. <laughs> Which is capable. You're already in great shape. We'll see. We'll see. No, it's just like the inside stuff. Like I want to make sure that everything's like working like a fucking well-oiled machine in there. That's the goal. Um, other goal is I would like to scale all of my businesses to the point where I have a team of people working under me so I can delegate right. some more things. I have a decent amount, like here I have a social media manager, I have other trainers that work for me, um, like Stoga, we have, you know, like you guys, like the bud tenders and the stogies, but um, those are the workers. Those are, those are the people that work it. I really want somebody, a, a manager. So like the person in between. There's okay. the me, who is the person who has the, the visions and the ideas and blah, blah, blah. Then there's the next person who's like, hey, guys, we're going to implement these ideas that Amanda just had and all the other people that work the ideas. So that I need that middle of ground. So I would, that's a goal of mine for all my businesses, to find like a nice like right-hand man. Um, and then another goal which is super far-fetched and like no one really knows this about me is i definitely want to buy a piece of land that i can't hear anything mm -hmm. like i don't want to hear a fucking highway i don't want to hear a landscaper like i don't want to hear a plane taking off i just like want a big piece of land and like build my house on it bliss yes i like that's my sanctuary that's a goal of mine too. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Three solid goals. Thank you. Three solid goals. <laughs> now, what are three pieces of advice that you'd give to anybody? Just anybody in general. Doesn't have to be the fitness industry. Just three people in a, in in a room. What are three pieces of advice you give them? This one's so corny. This one's so fucking corny. Be your most authentic self. Because okay. people will see right through you in every department of your life, whether it's your career, your family, your friends, strangers. Just be your most authentic self. Um, don't try to sugarcoat yourself. Don't try to put on this facade for anybody. Just be you and the people that are that love you for who you are will gravitate towards you. Mm. Um, that's one. Okay. Two. Work fucking hard. Really motherfucking hard. Work fucking hard. But when your body starts giving you yellow lights, time to time to pump the brakes a little bit. Mm -hmm. And listen to that. Because there is that mentality in the world going on right now, which is like, you know, I'll fucking, I'll fucking sleep when I'm dead. Mm, you don't perform your best and things that might have taken you 10 minutes now take you 10 days mm -hmm. so work fucking hard but listen to your body when it starts giving you the yellow lights because then those yellow lights will turn to red lights and now you're completely stopped mm. um and then third piece of advice would be you really got me with these these are really i feel like i'm just giving some corny ones right now but like they're just coming to me right now is just make sure you're spending time with, spending time with and doing things, spending time with people that you love and doing things that you love. So for example, if you were to not wake up tomorrow, would you be happy with how your last day on this earth was? Yeah, for the most part, 
So what did you do today that like drained you of your energy that you were just like, I could definitely never have to do that again and be fine? Drive. <laughs> oh, well, maybe one of you would be able to apply to. <laughs> no, but in reality, like when I, when I really think about it, it's like, you know, it's a scary thing. It, it, it's a scary thought thing about, but yeah, it's like, I know for a fact what my impact is done for this community and done for this world, you know, it's scary, it's scary to ever think about, obviously, yeah. but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I feel a little more content knowing that I've done better with my life than where I've left well, it off. I'm not even talking about your whole life. I'm talking about like just today. Yeah. Like that's one of the biggest things that I'm, I always work on too, is like making sure that your day is filled with a bunch of shit that you are enjoying. Mm. And your day is, or is filled with a bunch of people you enjoy being around. That way, if you literally were to die, you spent the day with people that you love and you enjoy being around and doing the things that you love and enjoy doing. Mm. And try to eliminate the things that don't. So that is it. Awesome, <laughs> awesome pieces of advice. And then the final thing, that's for last. What are three things that you are the most thankful for? Okay, three things I'm the most thankful for. I would say uh, my self awareness and like work ethic. Definitely very grateful for that because a lot of people in this world don't have it. Mm -hmm. um, special, special thing when you're blessed with it. Both self awareness and work work ethic, they, but they go hand in hand. Um, second thing would be my struggles, probably. Not even so much my successes. Successes are great, they're fun, whatever, but they're only a moment. Like when you reach that that moment, you're like, wow, I fucking made it. Like my business is in the green. Like that only happens one day, right? One initial day, and then hopefully you stay in the green forever. But that that flip from being in the gray to being in the green is like one moment. Um, the struggles last way fucking longer than that. So I am grateful that I was able to have and endure my struggles because it makes that one little moment of success that much better. That's, mm, mm, that, res that one resonates. That one definitely resonates. There's a lot of, there's more struggle moments in this world than success. And that's just the way it is. It ebbs and flows, obviously. But like, I'm definitely thankful for my struggles because A, they weren't the worst struggles in the world. Like the Lord so far has blessed me with like moderate struggles compared to other people in the world. <laughs> um, but I'm grateful for them. And then the third thing would be um, my support systems. And my support systems can literally range from anything. My relationship, my friends, my family, my body. That's that's what supports me. Mm. So my support systems. Well, I cannot thank you enough for your time. Uh, yes, yeah, I thank you for having me. Uh, anytime, literally. I uh, will hope, hopefully when we do this again, yeah. uh, <laughs> I'll actually remember to bring my fucking charger so I just bring my laptop to die on me <laughs> midway through it. But also I really do appreciate your time just because I know how busy you are and I know how hectic the schedules are. Yeah. And then between the two of us, it's always trying to hard to find that right time. But I had to have you on because it's also Mental Health Awareness Month for May. So I had to have you on here as well because you're yeah. a, very much a, a standout for the mental health community as well uh, because your passion for actually creating not only just a more healthier you know human body but also a healthier mind as well and yep. soul so again i thank you for everything and thank, thank you for you also for an opportunity to be for the apex too of course always always a pleasure to have you no. thanks it's been a, it's been a apex wow it's been <laughs> it's been well scary guys thank you Bye.